you saw some some conditions that were related to the earthquake and some you know that were not were clearly not but um, wounds uh, people who had injuries that developed infections uh, people who had operations but then had complications from those operations after the earthquake so there was a wide range of uh, illnesses and pathologies I was so happy to have a huge team of nurses come because um, you know, we had heard that there was a nursing shortage and that they were uh, they were in desperate need of nurses. And so I was really happy to work with wonderful nurses. Oh, my aunt, I've been seeing her 20 years. And actually seeing her, like, I try not to cry because she looks, she looks a mess. You know, her hair is, is dirty and her clothes. I only came with two pairs of shoes, so I gave her one, and socks, and I gave her some money. I mean, I didn't bring that much money with me, but I gave her some money and said, you can use it to buy some food and things like that. And my cousin came. I mean, they don't look as bad as other people because, you know, they have us in the U.S. to send them money, but seeing them like that, and I'm asking her where, where does she sleep, she says she sleeps outside. Even that, she still managed to bring me food the next day. She, she took care of me while I was there. Well, I had 25 patients to myself. And it was challenging, but it was great. Patients were so patient, you know, to begin with. That was the first thing that struck me. They were patient, they were grateful, they were just happy to see you, happy that you were there, no matter what you were doing for them. And, um, sorry, I get, I get emotional. <laughs> they were willing to give you anything that they had left just so you can help them out. And I still remember, like, one of our translators saying, um, I'm going back to sleep outside the airport. Do you have a sleeping bag? Or... You know, are you here tomorrow? My family would love to cook for you. And I'm saying, where are you living? Outside the airport on the street. And you're still willing to give, feed me, to give me something from you that you don't have. You know, it was just amazing to see how grateful and how willing to help you with whatever they can, even though they have nothing. You're so appreciated. You were almost on a high, as, as crazy as that seems. Everyone appreciated you. The people who you were working for in charge came around, told you every day what a good job you were doing. Mm. Uh, the nurses, the patients, it was just like a, a wonderful place to work, if that sounds crazy, in the middle of all of this chaos. And people were just so kind and so welcoming, like even though they had so much um, like destruction in their lives, like the people dead in their lives, they still came and you know they were so thankful. I, just I think it's really important that people keep Haiti in the forefront of their, um, you know, their their consciousness. So I think that they're going to require help both in terms of volunteerism um, and funds and other things for a long period of time.